This is Movies First with Alex First. Hero or villain? Murderer, opportunist, oligarch, jailed dissident, campaigner for a democratic Russia. These are just some of the triggers in a fascinating and insightful documentary about Mikhail Godorovsky, who was once Russia's richest man, head of the oil giant Yukos, and now lives in exile in London. As you can imagine, Russian President Vladimir Putin features prominently. This is very much cast as a story about his dominion, his power and control over the country and its people. The documentary begins with the changing tide in Russia, with the election of Boris Yeltsin in 1991, and how, remarkably, with a country on its knees, with the help of the oligarchs, he was able to secure a second term. Putin rose from obscurity to become his second in command, and then a leader, arguably without precedent. While Yeltsin fought for democratic change, Putin pushed for state control and the overthrow of the oligarchs. The most politically active of these was Godorovsky, who dared to take on Putin. Movies First with Alex First. Director Alex Gibney has accessed a surfeit of pointed historical footage to make his case. It's a damning of the state-sanctioned control and manipulation that saw Godorovsky painted as an enemy of the people. Nevertheless, Gibney doesn't try to present Godorovsky as a saint or anything close to it. During his ups and downs, Godorovsky shed thousands of workers' jobs and all but forced his whole workforce to take a 30% pay cut for his business to stay afloat. Godorovsky is nothing if not stoic and fatalistic. When he knew he was about to be jailed, he didn't flee when he could have. Instead, he dealt with his fate through not one but two trials. The second presented as a complete sham. In fact, the charges in the second trial were a direct contradiction to those that saw him jailed the first time around. Still, after seven years in prison, he was given a further 13-year sentence. Among those interviewed, along with Godorovsky, are those who were in business with him, one being the founder of the independent The Moscow Times newspaper and Godorovsky's legal counsel. With a deft hand, Gibney has crafted a detailed, if overly long, portrait of two bulls, Godorovsky and Putin, neither of whom had been prepared to take a backward step. It's also an examination of power in Russia and the political conflicts and contradictions ailing the country today. Citizen K scores an 8 out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.